you've watched Daisy Jones, you've read the book, now what? Hey, hi, hello, how are you? I'm Pia. So Daisy Jones had a rebirth, had a renaissance with the release of the Prime show. And I know a lot of you at home are like, I've read the book, I've caught up on the series, but now where do I go? Like, what else can I do? I am so inspired, like I'm about to write a freaking song. I want more like this. Fortunately for you, Taylor Jenkins Reid has come out with a bunch of like historical fiction that obviously have her tone, have her voice, have it all, you know, might quench the thirst, might satiate that Daisy Jones hunger, but it might not. Or you, maybe you already read them, right? I have come up with a list of a lot of different things that I think readers and lovers of Daisy Jones series, book, whatever, would enjoy. Now I've got a couple categories. So first we have just like music related books, books that have to do with music, bands, songs, that type of vibe. Then we have historical fiction, just things that are set around the same time in the 70s, give the same vibes. And then musicians, memoirs, biographies, that sort of stuff. So let's start with the music, the music vibes. I think that's like one of the main things. I love reading about music books. So this was like very fun for me. The first recommendation I have for you is kind of more of an author and that is Aaron Hahn. Aaron Hahn has written More Than Maybe and You'd Be Mine. These are both young adults books that have to do with music. You'd Be Mine has to do with a country singer. This is probably the most comparable thing I could say to Daisy Jones. And this has to do with country singers and like a new and up and cunning voice and a kind of down on his luck maybe, um, you know, about to get dropped from his label unless he works with this new musician. Of, of course, they fall in love. Now, more than maybe does diverge from that a lot. <laughs> this has to do with just a girl who's really into music and a guy who secretly, you know, makes music and them kind of bonding over one of them wanting to be a music journalist and obviously one of them being a musician. And both are very sweet. I love Aaron Hahn um, and they both have like actual song lyrics in the books, which I think is like a big thing about Daisy Jones that I like. Another one that's YA is it goes like this. This is about a band. They're all queer characters. One thing that I thought was missing from Daisy Jones are some queer characters. So we've got like the friendship and the heartbreak going on all in this band um, and the general entanglements that they get up to, I guess. Definitely has like the whole band group dynamic if you're more of like a bigger cast of characters type of reader. This is definitely that vibe for YA music band shenanigans. Then for a bit of some lighter reads, we have Happy Ever After playlist. This actually is like the sequel or like a companion novel in a series, but you by no means have to read the first book to read the second one. This is about a dog bringing a musician and a you know, not famous girl together. This is an adult uh, romance. It has like the on tour roadie vibes. I really also like the trope of like famous and not famous and it has that. It's one of my favorite romances in general. I find it very sweet and yes. Going along the vein of famous, not famous, one book that I think you might like if you're like thirsting for more like fame kind of things. It's funny you should ask. This also has like interview portions and it has kind of like mixed media. It's got like articles and stuff thrown throughout it, which I think is like a fun form element. It's got two different timelines. One where this interviewer is meeting with famous up and coming actor as he's just gotten a really great big role and they have like this weekend together. And then the next is 10 years later and he kind of um, hasn't gotten a lot of roles. He's kind of fallen into uh, addiction and it has been out of the spotlight for a little bit and they are reconnecting. And so you have those two timelines, you have the articles and and like the mixed media kind of elements of it. And it's got the famous and not famous thing that I really like. Let's move on to some historical fiction. One that I think you might like if you like Daisy Jones is Firefly Lane. This is a Kristen Hanna book. So it's a long time, but it's about a like lifelong friendship um, of these two women. And I, what I really like about this is not only is it like historical fiction set in the seventies, but it also has to do with fame in some in some ways. You know, one of the characters is like becoming like a TV personality and I just really love their relationship. And I think like the trials and tribulations that they face and like the friend breakups and reconciliations are really like heartbreaking <laughs> to read about and, and really complex. And I think that those sorts of relationships and those sorts of like stories centering around like such a like incredible bond are some of my favorite things. And in this historical fiction setting, getting to see all the years of their friendship is so beautiful. And I think you might like it. Some other historical fictions that I've heard compared to Daisy Jones, Mary Jane. This one seems super similar. I mean, just look at that cover. <laughs> About a 14 year old girl joining church choir whose life is kind of like, um, interrupted or upended by like this movie star kind of like moving into her town, moving into her space, uh, truly. It's about her family dynamics and struggles, kind of just being exposed very firsthand to the world of like movie stardom and rock stardom and like sex, drugs and all that stuff of the 70s. And I just feel like it really like rocks her world, changes her perception. So it does feel like 
very I guess reminiscent of like especially the beginning of like Daisy Jones where like just her life is just consumed <laughs> by this hard drugs sex drugs rock and roll type of world I don't know how else to describe it so the unraveling of Cassidy Holmes. This is literally pitched as in the vein of Daisy Jones and the Six and everything I never told you. It's already got Daisy Jones comped. This is historical fiction, but it does take place in 2002. The year I was born. This is more in the vein of like Britney era, you know, I don't even know how to describe it. Like just like the pop princess era of the early 2000s. So a different vibe for sure. So basically our main character Cassidy Holmes was in a girl group, girl pop group, and the world is now sort of reeling from um, losing her to suicide and they don't know what happened. Seems like no one really knew her and knew her life. And so this is kind of like the unraveling is like telling the story of like her rise to fame, her in this group, them falling apart, you know, and disbanding. And then like, what happened? Like, how did that affect her? And really like taking an inside look um, on those sorts of things. The last historical fiction on here is the final revival of Opal and Nev. This is also set in the seventies. Thank you. I, I got something right. It's also set in the seventies about an interracial rock duo. And obviously they had a sensation. I, I feel like I don't even need to say like, they, you know, if there's, it's, if it's about a band, a group, a duo, they're going to break up <laughs> at some point. So it's about obviously, you know, their rise to fame and stardom and their break up. This is kind of like, it's a revival. So it's like years later, they're coming back together to do like one last tour, one last hurrah. And of course that's, <laughs> that's going to be a little bit complicated and difficult for these characters after not seeing each other for a long time and also having to contend with why they broke up in the first place. So this definitely has a lot of the same vibes. I would love, oh my God, can you just imagine like, what if Daisy Jones like got back together? Like what if that's the sequel? <laughs> I'm just waiting for them to go into guys. Anyways, my next category of books are of course memoirs. I love memoirs and if you are like, man, I read Daisy Jones or I watched Daisy Jones and I was like, I love Stevie Nicks. Me too. But if you're also like, I just want to hear um, about some musicians talking about music and the process and like the real <laughs> truth of it. So first is Broken Horses by Brandi Carlisle. I recently read this book and I totally recommend the audiobook. I mean, if you read Daisy Jones, like I'll tell you listen to the audiobook. Like we're audiobook girlies. Highly recommend the audiobook because she like sings um, at the end of every chapter. So Brandi Carlisle, if you didn't know her, she's like a very, very famous, like I just think she's got like 60 something Grammy nominations. Didn't even know that. But highly like acclaimed Americana, folky singer, incredible voice and songwriter. This is her memoir, you know, starting from the bottom. Now, now we're here. It's great. Like I said, it has like those like song elements, which I think are, are just like incredible to like listen to on audio, but there's like a playlist of it um, as well if you like want to read the book physically and listen to the music. But I love Brandi Carlisle. I love reading memoirs. <laughs> I love reading memoirs, especially about people I don't know a lot about to begin with. And she is someone who I literally knew nothing about. I like only just like discovered her recently. And then I was like, wait, you're like literally like one of the most like critically acclaimed like female musicians. <laughs> what? <laughs> so I love her. She has a very like, she just has like a very organic start to music and like being raised kind of growing up uh, musical and um, and just really interesting. And I, I don't want to say a lot because you should read it. All right. My camera just decided to fall over. So different angle. So the last memoir I have on here, well, it's actually only the second one, but the other memoir I have on here is Just Kids by Patti Smith. Now, if you don't know who Patti Smith is, let me freaking tell you. Patti Smith is an American singer. Crazy. Funny enough, her debut album was in the 70s. Is that why I chose this? Yes, it is. So basically in this book, this is like her first book of prose and she talks a lot about um, this album that she came out with called Horses in uh, 1975. Again, it's a memoir, so it's a book about her life. And like I said, this is her first book of prose. I believe she's also come out with poetry and like photography. Like she's just an artist in all regards. And this is is just mostly one about that time of coming out with that album, where she was in her life, leading up to it, after it, that kind of thing, and just kind of more centered around those things. So popular. I've seen this book like everywhere and like every celebrity I follow too, like always posts like that they're reading Just Kids by F Patti Smith, which I think is so funny. I'm just waiting for Stevie Nicks to publish her memoir. Where is it? Joni Mitchell, where's your memoir? Like I would read them in a heartbeat. There is a Joni Mitchell book, Oh, I knew this. Yeah, but it's not like a, a memoir. What? Anyway, I would also recommend reading Conversation with Friends by Sally Rooney because I feel like it's got the vibes of the relationships, but I couldn't fit it into any of these categories. But I would also say Daisy and Billy and Camilla, you know, kind of like, I mean, Conversation with Friends is more like a love square. I can't make a square. Square. <laughs> but I couldn't fit it into any of my categories that I created. So. <laughs> Let me know if you found this helpful. If you're enjoying or loving Daisy Jones, please gush about it in the comments. Tell me your favorite song right this fucking minute. I need to know. I actually like can't fucking wait. 
I would tell you my favorite song. Um, oh my gosh, that's so hard. I would say Honeycomb. Honeycomb has been my favorite song since the book, but you know, close seconds are Please and The River. I love it. Let me know if I'll see you on the tour once they announce their dates. <laughs> and if you got anything helpful out of this video, I really hope you did. So please let me know if you did. With that being said, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things, and I will see you in my next video.